the trees that have been selected to be pruned have been. And I think they look, they look really great, especially out here in the parking lot. And the tree they put down on Collins was huge. And on top, and the, the citizens have all called and said thank you very, very much. Yeah, they did a great job. And uh, he apologized that he couldn't come out sooner, but the rain, so much rain, and it was a dangerous situation to go out in the rain. So. And uh, last but not least, maintenance has put out new mulch around City Hall with a new chain fence, and uh, I think they did an outstanding job. Uh, really looks nice out there. And that is the maintenance report. Uh, yes? Let me add a little bit to the maintenance slide before we okay. go on. But, uh, you mentioned about the beaver dams. And while we were down there the other day, the county Mike Fletcher came down and he looked at it. The reason he was there was because another area had said the lake was getting too full and wanted him to check out why it wasn't draining. So you know, it had to have a thing to do with anything that he should have had to do with it. But, but anyhow, I told him, I, I said, you know, this ditch is actually in the county. I said, looks like we can get a little help from the county to keep it cleaned out. And I said, we're just doing it now to try to get the water off of some of our citizens. And so we need a permanent solution to it. And he said, well, we might can work something out. I said, yeah. So but I'm supposed to meet with him tomorrow on the Lawrence Street and Essa Street down here to see, get his opinion on what would be the best way to solve that problem. But, That's tomorrow evening, right? Huh? That's tomorrow, too. Yeah. yeah, that's tomorrow. When you, when you meet him, um, ask him, because Bob said that when they broke the, the beaver dam, water spilled out. It was a lot of water, but he didn't notice a significant drop towards Broadway. So we're asking if there's any way that they can back, get back further because there's probably more dams that we're not, we're not seeing. Um, so if you could do that. And, um, so just, I mean, just mention it to them, see, see, see what he says. So it, it, it takes a while to, to, to drink. Mm -hmm. What about what, 13 acres there? I mean, just you pulling it away with the rake just moved a tremendous amount of water. But I mean, it, the water was flowing, but just like a uh, fellow drove a stake down and gone to irrigate his tobacco, and he wanted to see how much he was putting on it. And I said, Well, when it moves off that stick, you pump it out of a thousand acre pond, you're going to drown it. Yeah, that's right. So it's, it's not going, it's going to take a while to lower it, it's not going to lower it within the next hour. Right. Okay. And also, to do that. I was told today they have a water problem at the cemetery that uh, they've got an underground pipe evidently is leaking. Uh, they turn everything off, the meter just spins. So they got the meter turned off. So when, when did this occur today? That's when I found out about it. But now we pay the county for that water at the cemetery. Right? Yeah. So, we need to let them know we got a leak so that we don't have to pay some big bill. Let's call them the first thing in the morning and let them know. Mm -hmm. so they got it cut off the meter right now. So okay. They can cut so, yeah, let's, let's call them. But now, so they're <coughs> accounting for that water. Are they responsible for fixing it? Okay. Not from the meter. If not, then Bob 